when I first was diagnosed, a lot of the emotions really were negative emotions. They were fear, anger, um, hopelessness. My mother died from complications related to type 2 diabetes at the age of 35. Ironically, I was diagnosed at the age of 35. When the doctors told me that I had gestational diabetes, I was devastated because here I have just learned that I'm having this bundle of joy. I am pregnant, you know, this is my first child, and so I'm embracing the pregnancy. And I felt that I had a step up to the plate and, and say, okay, as the oldest of the siblings, I'm gonna take care of my mom from now on. My primary care doctor simply said, okay, you have type two diabetes, let's get you on some medication. I didn't know anything about what it really meant. I didn't know how I should change my eating habits. I didn't know that I should incorporate exercise into my life. At that time, I didn't have what I felt like was a good support system. I really had to come to the realization that it is not going to go away. So I cannot just be in denial and not deal with it because, again, now I have this child that's going to depend on me. So now I have to change my life, not only for him, but for me so that I can live. There are challenges, I, think, I guess I would call them, knowing that you know, she's aging. And uh, so just recognizing those kind of issues we don't want to talk about diabetes. So why is that? That's the most puzzling thing I would say. When I first found out about di having diabetes, I felt like, again, it was a dirty little secret, but most people's conception or misconception about it is, you have diabetes because, because you're fed, so it's your fault. That is the main, you hear that across, you hear that more than you hear anything. Most people like us didn't know that genetics could be such a big part of it. I think one of the things that makes me sad about type two is that it's assumed that you have done it to yourself. And I, that's not the case. It's a disease and just like any other disease, um, you cannot actually control the whole thing by yourself. You know, I think that for us, um, I, I knew that Derek um, was gonna treat it very seriously and be very motivated and and I wanted to be there by his side to make it as easy as possible for him to do what he needed to do. I mean, obviously there are genetic factors associated with, with um, type 2 diabetes, but I think you know, we need to educate uh, the public, raise awareness about type 2 diabetes. What can you do to, so it doesn't overwhelm you? So my motivation is my son. You have to lead by example. And if you don't, you know, kids see exactly what you do. So in order to be um, a positive influence in his life, I have to show him that I'm doing positive things and making a difference not only in my life, but it's gonna affect his life. I want others to take away from my story that just because you've been diagnosed with type one or type two, your life isn't over. There's a lot of hope. People live long, healthy lives. I see nothing but a bright light ahead of me. I have two boys that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to be there for all of their milestones in their life. What motivates me is just love for Derek and for our family, and I want that to last as long as humanly possible for us. Um, and, and it's that simple. For me, it's, it's a family effort. Take it out of the team effort. It's a family effort. We have found uh, strength together. You know, it, it could be extremely difficult, but it isn't, <laughs> so. I love you. Mm. If you feel overwhelmed, there's always someone that you can reach out to. I really want to see, you know, my son graduate from college. We are fighting to help stop diabetes together as a family. People who are living with type 2 diabetes and those supporting them have remarkable stories to tell. Stories that inspire and encourage, celebrate successes, raise awareness about the seriousness of the disease, and educate others to stand up to misconceptions about type 2 diabetes. 
the American Diabetes Association and proud sponsor, John Hancock and his wellness-based life insurance program have teamed up to change the conversation about type 2 diabetes. Join us. Listen. Share. Tell us your story. Help change the conversation. Learn more at diabetes.org forward slash in it together.